What's good, YouTube? Sensational Sasir is here, and I'm back with another Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video. We're here for a June 5th, 2020's Vendor Reset. So let's get right into this and see what we got good for this week. Okay, so for our first gear items, we're going to head over to Camp Hudson. Peer to Gear Vendor has a prototype performance mod with 5.50% sticky bomb explosion radius. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the Meat Locker. Here, the weapons vendor has a Marine Super 90 with a gear score of 263. It has 311% stagger, and the talent this has is adept, destructive, and accurate. So for our next gear items, you want to head over to the base operations. Here, the Dark Zone gear vendor has a tactical mask with the talent enduring on there. It has a gear score of 277. The armor is 974. It's roll for stamina, 1,232, and the attributes this has is skill power and blind death resistance. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the gear vendor, and here we have a spec ops mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 273. The armor is 984. It's roll for firearms, 1,227, and the attributes this has is health on kill and damage to elites. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 2.50% smart cover damage resilience. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the advanced weaponry vendor, and here we got a custom M870 MCS with a gear score of 281. It has 347.50% stagger, and the times this has is adept, predatory, and competent. Also here we got an M700 tactical with a gear score of 280. It has 171% headshot damage, and the times this has is fierce, talented, and elevated. Also here we got a black market RPK-74E with a gear score of 262. It has 19% damage to targets out of cover, and the talent this has is swift, deadly, and destructive. Also here we got a tyrant suppressor with 7.50% crit hit chance, 2% accuracy, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the special equipment vendor, and here we got a Cassidy with a gear score of 274. It has 302% stagger, and the talent this has is determined, fierce, and boomstick. Also here we got a liberator with a gear score of 268. It has 20% enemy armor damage, and the talent this has is meticulous, adept, and vicious. Also here we got a hunting M44 with a gear score of 268. It has 144% headshot damage, and the talent this has is fierce, disciplined, and talented. Also here we got a Spec Ops armor with the talent vigorous on there. It has a gear score of 265. The armor is 1,754. It's roll for stamina, 1,135. And the attributes this has is skill haste, exotic damage resilience, and ammo capacity. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 4.50% ballistic shield damage resilience. Also here we got a SR7 suppressor with 18% crit hit damage, 2.50% crit hit chance, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the special blueprints vendor. And here we got some stamina gloves, blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got some electronic gloves, blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got a flash hider blueprint with a power level 34. We also got a vertical grip foliage green blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, you want to head over to Camp Clinton. Here the special equipment vendor has a liberator with a gear score of 273. It has 20% enemy armor damage. And the times this has is unforgiven, accurate, and intense. Also here we got a G36 Enhanced with a gear score of 275. It has 20% enemy armor damage. And the times this has is fierce, dominant, and focused. Also here we got a Super 90 with a gear score of 268. It has 336.50% stagger. And the times this has is deadly, brutal, and responsive. Also here we got a Police MK17 with a gear score of 265. It has 169% headshot damage, and the talent this has is fierce, competent, and balanced. Also here we got a black market RPK-74E with a gear score of 269. It has 21% damage to targets out of cover, and the talent this has is meticulous, vicious, and competent. Also here we got a gunslinger's vest with the talent reckless on there. It has a gear score of 268. The armor is 1,751. It's roll for electronics, 1,194. And the attributes this has is enemy armor damage, exotic damage resilience, and ammo capacity. Also here we got an operator pack with the talent Relentless on there. It has a gear score of 261. The armor is 1,161. It's roll for firearms, 1,135. And the attributes this has is skill power and burn resistance. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% seeker mine damage. Also here we got a heavy magazine spring with 11.50% magazine size, 4.50% reload speed, 
and 9.40% rate of fire. For our next gear items, we're still at Camp Clinton. Head over to the Special Blueprints vendor, and here we got a stamina knee pad blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got an MK4 M5A2 scope times 15 blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, you wanna head over to Dante's Run. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 5.50% first aid self heal. For our next gear items, you wanna head to Wolf's Den. Here the weapons vendor has an ACR with a gear score of 273. It has 18% enemy armor damage. And the Tonsis has its focus, deadly, and ferocious. For our next gear items, you wanna head to Autumn's Hope. Here the gear vendor has a tactical pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 268. The armor is 1,175. It's roll for firearms, 1,228. And the attributes this has here is critical damage and disrupt resistance. And also here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% mobile cover damage resilience. And also here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% mobile cover damage resilience. For our next gear items, you want to head over to Madison Stan. Here the gear vendor has an operator pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 281. The armor is 1,331. It's roll for electronics 1,239. And the attributes we have here is skill, power, and burn resistance. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the ward. Here the gear vendor for you PVE guys has the spec ops armor with the talent robust on there. It has a gear score of 269. The armor is 1,749. It's roll for firearms 1,244. And the attributes this has is all resistance, health on kill, and ammo capacity. And then also here we got a prototype performance mod with 6% support station duration. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the South Paul. Here the gear vendor has a gunslinger vest with the talent Reckless on there. It has a gear score of 275. The armor is 1,762. It's roll for electronics, 1,257. And the attributes this has is all resistance, exotic damage, resilience, and ammo capacity. And then also here we got a prototype performance mod with 6.50% mobile cover health. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the grind house. Here the weapons vendor has a small grip with 18% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the crypt. Here the weapons vendor has a tactical super 90 SBS with a gear score of 272. It has 331.50% stagger. And the talents this has is meticulous, fierce, and competent. And also here we got a 5.52 hollow sight tan with 7% crit hit chance, 2.50% stability, and 5.50% headshot damage. For our next gear items, you want to head over to West 31st Street checkpoint. Here the dark zone vendor has a G36 enhanced with a gear score of 265. It has 20% enemy armor damage. And the talent this has is responsive, capable, and focused. Also here we got a tactical mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 269. The armor is 924. It's roll for stamina 1193. And the attributes this has is enemy armor damage and damage to elites. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% sticky bomb damage. For our next gear items, you're gonna head over to West 34th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a model 700 with a gear score of 276. It has 149% headshot damage, and the talent it has is unforgiving, determined, and elevated. Also here we got an operator vest with the talent Vigorous on there. It has a gear score of 277. The armor is 1,945. It's roll for firearms, 1,175. And the attributes this has is all resistance, exotic damage, resilience, and increased kill XP. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 5.50% first aid ally heal. And also here we got a heavy magazine spring with 4% crit hit damage, 4.50% reload speed, and 9.80% rate of fire. For our next gear items, you want to head over to West 39th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a prototype performance mod with 3.50% seeker mind damage. For our next gear items, you want to head over to West 42nd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a military M870 with a gear score of 265. It has 304% stagger, and the talent this has is destructive, responsive, and meticulous. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 7% turret duration. And then also here we got a tyrant suppressor with 7.50% crit chance, 4.50% optimal range, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 46th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a prototype stamina mod with 246 stamina and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. And then also here we got a VX1 scope with 18% headshot damage, 4% crit hit damage, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to West 53rd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an operator vest with the talent Reckless on there. It has a gear score of 270. 
The armor is 1,839. Its roll for firearms, 1,179. And the attributes this has is enemy armor damage, health, and increased kill XP. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 61st Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor has a heavy magazine spring with 4.50% reload speed, 11.50% magazine size, and 10.90% rate of fire. And also here we got Omega Rifle Suppressor 10 with 18.50% headshot damage, 2.50% crit chance, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to East 58th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Gear Vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the Talent Enduring on there. It has a gear score of 262, the armor is 906, it's roll for stamina 1140, and the attributes this has is exotic damage resilience and blind death resistance. Also here we got a spec ops armor with the talent reckless on there, it has a gear score of 271, the armor is 1774, it's roll for stamina 1206, and the attributes this has is exotic damage resilience, all resistance, and ammo capacity. Also here we got an operator pack with the talent inventive on there. It has a gear score of 274. The armor is 1,249. It's roll for stamina of 1,209. And the attributes this has is stability and ammo capacity. For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to the Park Ave checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Weapons vendor has a Super 90 with a gear score of 276. It has 298.50% stagger. And the talents this has is adept, destructive, and unforgiven. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to East 53rd Street Checkpoint. Here, the Dark Zone vendor has a covert SRS with a gear score of 261. It has 160% headshot damage. And the talents this has is competent, cool-headed, and ferocious. And also here, we got some operator gloves with the talent Savage on there. They have a gear score of 270. The armor is 897. It's for for stamina, 1,210. And the attributes this has is LMG damage, enemy armor damage, and skill haste. Also here we got a prototype stamina mod with 261 stamina and 1% crit hit chance. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to East 46th Street Checkpoint. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to East 46th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a Black Market RPK-74E with a gear score of 278. It has 22% damage to targets out of cover. And the talents this has is unforgiving, fierce, and deadly. Also here we got a prototype electronics mod with 256 electronics and 1% crit hit chance. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to East 42nd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a surplus SVD with a gear score of 260. It has 152% headshot damage. And the talents this has is prepared, brutal, and disciplined. Also here we got some tactical gloves with the talent Savage on there. They have a gear score of 270. The armor is 995. It's roll for stamina 1,141, and the attributes this has is marksman's rifle damage, health on kill, and enemy armor damage. Also here we got a prototype electronics mod with 256 electronics and 3,022 health. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to East 40th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has an M700 Carbon with a gear score of 272. It has 167% headshot damage, and the talents this has is trained, ferocious, and elevated. Also here we got an operator pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 266. The armor is 1170. It's roll for electronics 1183. And the attributes this has is skill power and ammo capacity. Also here we got a prototype firearms mod with 250 firearms and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to East 34th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a first wave M1A with a gear score of 272. It has 142% headshot damage, and the talents this has is commanding, destructive, and fierce. And also here we got a prototype firearms mod with 245 firearms and 3% skill haste. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 31st Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the talent enduring on there. It has a gear score of 272. The armor is 943. It's roll for stamina 1,126. And the attributes this has is skill power and disorienting resistance. And also here we got a prototype performance mod with 5% pulse duration. And then also here we got a C79 scope with 17% crit hit damage, 3% crit hit chance, and 5% optimal range. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to the 5th Ave checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a tactical pack with the Talent Relentless on there. It has a gear score of 272. The armor is 1177. 
It's roll for firearms, 1,249. And the attributes this has is critted damage and bleed resistance. And also here we got a prototype stamina mod with 257 stamina and 3% skill haste. For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to DZ2 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 265. The armor is 902. It's rolled for firearms, 1,196. And the attributes this has is health on kill and increased kill XP. Also here we got a tactical pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 268. The armor is 1,141. This roll for stamina, 1,230. And the attributes this has is critted damage and disrupt resistance. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to DZ3 safe room. Here the Dark Zone Weapons Vendor has a SOCOM MK20 SSR with a gear score of 259. It has 148% headshot damage. And Talisus has is brutal, determined, and deadly. And then also here we got a military RPK 74M with a gear score of 260. It has 20% damage to targets out of cover. And the Talisus has is vicious, unforgiving, and predatory. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DZ4 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear mod vendor has a prototype electronics mod with 256 electronics and 3,189 health. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DZ5 safe room. Here the Dark Zone weapon mod vendor has an extended magazine with 112% magazine size, 5% reload speed, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DZ8 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has an operator mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 283. The armor is 989. It's roll for electronics, 1,261. And the attributes this has a skill power and damage to elites. Also here we got an operator vest with the talent reckless on there. It has a gear score of 277. The armor is 1,959. It's roll for stamina, 1,227. And the attributes this has is enemy armor damage, skill haste, and ammo capacity. And then also here we got an operator pack with the talent relentless on there. It has a gear score of 264. The armor is 1,140. It's rolled for firearms, 1,148. And the attributes this has is critted damage and burn resistance. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DZ9 safe room. Here the Dark Zone weapon mod vendor has a large suppressor FDE with 18% crit hit damage. 2.50% stability and 6% headshot damage. All right, everybody, that's it for our Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video for June 5th, 2020's Vendor Reset. I hope everybody who tuned into it found them something that they needed. Smash on that like button if you hadn't. Smash on that sub button if you hadn't too. I appreciate that support. Check me out on Twitter and check me out on uh, Instagram. And sometimes I stream on uh, Twitch too. Check me out on there. I appreciate that love and support, everybody, and I will see y'all with the next one. Take care. Peace.